So as usual, I was scrolling Twitter and I saw this clip. Washcloths are for poor people. Yeah. So yeah, I only had one friend use washcloths and when she would stay with me, she'd say, can I have a washcloth? And I said, I don't have washcloth. Yeah, There's no washcloth. Use your hand, dummy. I remember the, I really do remember the first time I crashed at a, a poor friend's house and then <laughs> he handed over like a towel for after the oh, shower no. and then a bar soap and then a little one. I go, what's the little towel? And he goes, a washcloth? And I go, <laughs> I threw it back at him. I'm like, I'm good. And he was like, uh. Now, we've had this conversation before. I'm going to be honest with you. The last time we talked about this was with Cosmos, and I want you to understand something. I never forgot that it was Cosmos that got an article written on him about this. Now, I want you guys to understand, please, hygiene is very important. We need to talk about this because it's something that I need you to know as a listener of me. You need to make sure that you are washing every crevice this isn't a joke here all right behind your ears inside your ears please make sure that you are using a washcloth now for me yes i do have two washcloths because i don't let the washcloths that touches the rest of my body touch my face yeah you think it's a joke i'm i'm actually not joking this isn't a joke at all but when it comes to hygiene please use a washcloth you don't even have to be that insane but if you want to take care of yourself it's just very important there's nothing wrong with hygiene. And again, it's not poor if you have to pay for washcloths. Just to let you know that right now, this clip is very, very, very disgusting. I want you to, it smells. The clip itself is smells. All right, that please make sure to wash always with a washcloth. Don't forget that my name is Ken Knows, and if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it just helps out. Also, a bar of soap does not count. Please use a washcloth. This isn't a joke. But if you guys want more advice like this, please subscribe. It really does help out. We are on a new journey, a new year. A lot of things happening this year. But one thing that's been happening is the fact that Mickey Mouse went public domain. Actually, the funny thing is it's Steamboat Willie that actually is the one that went to the public domain. If you guys know, like Mickey Mouse on the boat whistling and everything. And of course, this leads to a very interesting situation. Big day for boring people whose imagination extends to what if public domain property, but scary and violent. And as soon as that happened, there was a video game that actually was announced, or I, I don't know if it's exactly a game or whatever it is, but yeah, they, they made a game. Mickey Mouse inspired horror game Infestation 88 announced. And this was like what people were saying. A lot of people were saying that sadly, there are only two options, it seems, for public domain like, you know, characters. Sadly, with all that, you have people that are, of course, going to try to make every dime that they possibly can. And you have the NFT bros that said, hey, Disney, the mouse is ours. But these idiots didn't actually realize that it's Steamboat Willie, not actually Mickey Mouse. And the community notes actually said this post is incorrect. The character in Steamboat Willie is now public domain. Mickey Mouse is still protected by copyright law. And you know, you know they're licking their chops, waiting to get at them because I don't know why you would even think about that. Now, sadly, one of the bigger things and topics that came up was the, the name of Infestation 88. And Saved You a Click actually talked about it and basically saved me a click of reading all these articles that are coming up about it. The game was called Infestation 88 because it takes place in 1988 and not because 88. H H hail, you know what? The game is now called Infestation Origin. So I guess it's cool that they actually made that change automatically. There's a lot of the things that are all over the place. So make sure to find the proper articles about it. I always try to make sure to do that also. And it's not the easiest sourcing. And then, you know, I try to make sure in the next video to possibly make a correction. So what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think this is lame? I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually do think it's lame that everything is goes into horror. Like you have an opportunity to do something cool and it's just like, yo, we have to do horror. And I don't know why, like, I don't know what the obsession with that is. I, I guess it have to deal with like the success that like Five Nights at Freddy's had, like everybody tries to do this. I don't know, maybe it's me. What do you guys think is it like, I, I think that it's very unnecessary at this point. But when we talk about these, like, you know, horror games, multiplayer games, all these games that are out there, Funny enough, somebody posted this dude want to play lethal company and it's the dog like, you know, stepping away like, nah, I'm kind of good. 
Now, as somebody that is a part of the committee that of anti-multiplayer games or the flavor of the month game, I actually understand this post. But then somebody up top had to say, what, by the name of Sleepy Joe, people who avoid popular games for the sole reason that they're popular are so effing annoying because they always got to let people know. Okay, that that is actually true. I don't be letting people know, and that's one of the bigger things that I, I will always say. It's mostly just looking at the topics, and that's really it. Like, I don't go around, like, being like, oh, I didn't play Among Us. I just really just didn't play it. And one of the bigger reasons for me, actually, this is actually a personal reason why I don't play a lot of these multiplayer, like, VC games. I get overwhelmed. I know that sounds random. When there's too many people in a voice call, it feels very, like, claustrophobic. I don't, I don't know what it is. So, that, And that's not what I really want for, like, gaming personally when it's like four people cool three people two people but when you're like going into like a whole bunch of people in a vc or even just when it's not organized to towards the game people are just more like yelling so like when among us came out wasn't for me a lot of these games now like it's they're more social interaction games and i usually just want to chill i don't know that it's, it's just me how do you feel about that but they continue on to say especially for lethal company because it's just super fun nothing is funnier than hearing your friends muffled screams through a wall as they get effed by a monster and then hearing it start to come your direction. Now, as I said, I get it. I understand why people absolutely love it. But, you know, some other people like I, I feel like a lot of the time the post has to deal with people asking them to play multiple times. You always have that friend that tries to peer. Pre Nobody talks about it, but there is a lot of peer pressure that comes with gaming. Like there very much is like some people used, like, used to be at a time where you could get your friends to buy bad games. Now, no, it's not. I don't think it's that easy anymore. You can get more people to download like, you know, the multiplayer games. But a lot of the times I've noticed that when it comes to this, a lot of people always want their friends to play that one game. And then there's always that one person. And I'm the, usually that person that's like, nah, I think I'm okay. Like a lot of the times I think that I am personally okay. But you know, it's not okay. This Fortnite animation. I got to show you guys this clip. So Boot posted the Flowberry Fizz item has now been enabled. It gives you a 100 shield in total. You can spray your duo with your Slurp Juice now and double heal. Looks pretty strong to carry. Now the internet, being the internet, started posting that, you know, hey yo, you got shields, my boy. <laughs> I don't know what this could resemble. I have no idea, but I, I, I'm just trying to understand what Epic was thinking with making this. Oh on why it had to be like that. So as I said, the internet was just having fun and multiple people were just posting their different interactions with it. You know, as I said, I do play Fortnite from time to time, very fun game. But as I said, when it comes to situations like this, they just make themselves memeable. And I guess it's like one of those funny interactions that you have. Now, talking about interactions when it comes to Splatoon is a very interesting situation, right? Now, a lot of people will, for some reason, get on a game and just not play. I will never understand that. And as I said, a lot of people tag me in these now, and I do appreciate it. Uh, Unstable Sign, they actually chills in my streams, and I, I've been to there. They also stream also in Placeable Soon. They use Charger if you guys want to go check them out. And outside of that, like, I don't know why people do this. Like, it's very interesting. I understand it's your game, and you can do what you want, but I don't understand why people find the need to, like, ruin matches for other people. As I said, when it comes to, like, streaming the game, you get that a lot. I, I, I don't know why it's a thing. There are other games to play. There's so many things that you could be doing or even just playing with friends if you're getting a little bit frustrated. But to do this and ruin other people's matches are always just lame. As I said, the only thing you can do as a person, I can talk about it, but you can report it. And that's one of the bigger things that you probably should do is just report it. And if it's a person that does it like multiple times, just keep reporting because that's all, that's the only option Nintendo has given us. But Another option that Nintendo gave us six years ago, Fishy actually posted, Clamblitz released over six years ago. When I tell you that Clamblitz 
is definitely one of the most like divisive modes that they they ever made in my opinion like it was just so weird at first like a lot of people when rainmaker first came out there were people that were like oh we don't like rainmaker but i think a lot of people after a while were just like yo they absolutely love rainmaker and then there were people there they actually made shirts for it and rainmaker did nothing wrong like i'm not even joking like it was a whole like argument in splatoon one but in splatoon 2 we got clam blitz and there were a lot of people saying that like you know this is one of the best modes this is one of the most mid modes and then there were also people saying like hey can we get a new mode now since it's been about six years what do you guys think about clam blitz i personally i think that it's one of my favorite modes up until a certain point in splatoon 3 and i think it's more of the tactics that you could do to actually get to the basket i think are a little bit more annoying and stronger than they were in splatoon 2 and i'm not trying to say Spl in splatoon 2 it was perfect because i actually liked the reduction but now it just feels a little bit weird and I feel like the communication part of it is very hard in solo. I still enjoy it because I think I understand the game mode in itself. So like picking up clams for yourself, stuff like that. I think this, even in Splatoon 2, this was one of the modes that I would get like top 500 in. And I have to like, just say that it is still probably one of my favorite modes, even with Kraken jumping, I like it. Do I think that it's fair? No, I don't think it's fair at all, but what I will say is they know how to make modes and I, I it's a very hard mode. If this game had more communication options, I think this would be the best mode in the game, in my opinion. I, I really do. And if they were if, find a way to limit like, you know, Kraken pushes or just like Kraken pushes and baller pushes are not the same. But I think they would have something going here, in my opinion. I really do. Tell me what you think. Do you guys think that Clan Blitz was, after all these years, one of the better modes or do you still think that they should add another mode at this point <laughs> tell me what you think so there seems to be a new glitch in splatoon 3 and this one's kind of unique because it allows you to take your squid slash octolings shirt off yes no like not a joke this is all over the timeline and obviously it's gonna have a lot of love because people like the attire i guess or some people would, would like to have more attire that's like this i guess and have the option to be able to do this. So you do see a lot of people talking about it. You do see a lot of people actually doing it. Now, the funny thing is, I think that it's like super hard to do. I actually did watch the tutorial, which if you literally just go online and go to YouTube, you'll probably find it. Now, Nintendo will most likely take this down. So understand that this probably will not last super long. Well, in my opinion, I don't, I don't think this is gonna last long at all, but hey, people seem to be enjoying it. If you wanna do it, just go look honestly literally just go type it in on twitter look at the tweets that i have all up on the screen they'll have the tutorial there but there isn't anything much special about this outside of the fact that you can now have a naked inkling octoling i can't see this possibly going wrong at all that's going to be it for me today guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for listening i really do appreciate it don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm most likely gonna be live today at like 5 p.m.-ish. If I'm not, it means that I'm taking care of my kid or doing something else. But just give me a follow anyway, if you haven't already. And as I said, we do have a Discord if you guys would like to be a part of it. So if you don't wanna get left behind, please make sure to do that. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Have an amazing day. Peace out.